Hi, Happy Knitters, it's Yolanda. Welcome back. And if you are new to my channel, welcome as well. So I've got my sidekick, Jordan, here with me, kind of trying to spread a little holiday cheer. So it's um, Saturday, December 17th here in Texas. It's cloudy outside and we're supposed to get this massive cold front. I know you guys up north have already gotten it. So um, stay warm and be safe. Um, so in today's tutorial, I kind of want to talk about this Kyle. It's a two button Kyle. It is a pattern or what I probably would more consider a recipe. It's something that I came up with for a quick gift idea if you guys are looking for something to gift to someone for Christmas or it, basically any other time as well. It is a simple um, rib, two, two by two rib knit to about 25 inches in length and then you just basically sew two buttons on and fasten it through um, any of the holes that you have here so no need to worry about uh, creating buttonholes it, it's something that you can just use what you already have so if you guys want to learn how to knit this super fast kyle please stay tuned we'll see you in a minute thanks bye bye so the materials you're going to need for this cowl are going to be size 19 US or 15 millimeter needles, one skein of super bulky yarn size 6, tape measure, scissors, tapestry needle, and two or three size one and a half inch buttons. So here I wanted to show you kind of how the cowl looks uh, completed with the two buttons attached and how the rib looks um, to kind of give you the idea of how stretchy it's going to be and how cute it's going to be when it's on or around your neck. So we're going to start by casting on 14 stitches. I am going to use the long tail cast on um, for this Kyle, but you can of course use any cast on that you feel comfortable with. And I will leave a link to my uh, long tail cast on video in the upper right hand corner in case you need to have a refresher course on how to do the long tail cast on. And as I say in all of my videos, don't forget to count the number of stitches for your cast on because you just want to make sure that you have the right number and not have to start over. So now we're going to start with our two by two ribbing and it is basically a uh, knit two and purl twos um, for every single row um, but when you come to row two you're going to have to read your stitches and you're going to knit the knits and purl the purls so i'll go into a little bit more detail on that when we get to row number two but for row one you're going to knit two and purl two all the way across till you're done with the first row So our first stitch is going to be, of course, a knit stitch. The second stitch will also be a knit stitch. And then we will put the yarn in front to make the purl stitch. So here I'm wrapping the yarn in front of the needle and I'm proceeding to make the purl stitch. And I'll do that twice and then I will come back to the knit stitch. And so we will continue this pattern for the first row. So I didn't want to speed up this portion of the tutorial just in case there were viewers who have not ever performed ribbing in their knitting patterns. Thank you. 
So now we're done with the first row of the pattern for the knit two and purl twos. Now, any row after this, you're gonna have to read where your pattern, I'm sorry, where your stitches are for each row. So as you can see, the first two stitches are purl stitches, the second two stitches are knit stitches, and so on and so forth. So when you are doing ribbing, depending upon what row you're on, it could start with a purl row or it could start with a knit row. You just need to make sure and just look at your stitches to see where you are at. And since this is row two, it is of course going to be a start with a purl, purl stitch, two purl stitches, and then two knit stitches and so forth. And then on the third row, you will alternate and you will end up starting with knit stitches and then the next set will be purl stitches so it'll alternate back and forth between those two but if you drop leave your work for a little while and come back and you don't know where you started that's why it's always a good idea to be able to look at your work and know where what is a knit stitch and what is a purl stitch so you'll know which which stitch to perform um, when you pick your work back up So now we're done with our second row. And so we will continue in rib pattern until your desired uh, length. I did my Kyle up to about 25 inches, but you can uh, continue and you can make it as long as you want to. Um, that is absolutely up to you. So for the sake of time for this video, I just showed you how to do the ribbing. Um, so now I'm going to show you how to bind off in pattern. So it could be that you're going to start with a purl stitch or you're going to start with a knit stitch depending upon um, where you are in your ribbing. So in my case, I'm done with the length that I desired length that I want to and my two stitches will be purl stitches. So I'm going to knit, I'm sorry, I'm going to purl two stitches. And then I'm going to take the left needle and pick up this the first stitch on the right needle and pass that stitch over. So now I've bound off one stitch. And so now I am going to now do a knit stitch because that is my next stitch that is on my left hand needle. So I will do perform a regular knit stitch and then I will pass that stitch over the second stitch. And then my next stitch of course again is a knit stitch. So I will bind off that one stitch as well. And now we're going to come back to a purl stitch which means of course we have to put our working yarn in front of our needle and perform a purl stitch and then we will go ahead and slip the first stitch off of the right needle over the second stitch and we will just continue doing this until we have completely bound off all of our stitches and that way it'll, it'll still stay in rib form and it'll look really nice and neat when it's done.
So now we're done binding off our work. So we've come to the last uh, loop. So you wanna go ahead and cut your, your yarn. And I like to pass that yarn through the last loop to give it a little extra security. So then you can now see that you've uh, bound off and in ribbing form, and it gives your work a much more finished and a clean look. So now it's time for us to weave in the end. So you wanna just take your tapestry needle and you want to thread your yarn through your tapestry needle. Now I used the wrong uh, tapestry needle because that was the only one that I could find. I do have one that has a, a larger hole because this yarn is bulky, but um, I would definitely suggest that you get the tapestry needle that, that works for the yarn that type that you have. So you just kind of pick a spot um, to weave in and I went one direction and then I came back and I went the opposite direction just to kind of give it a little bit more um, of a secure um, fasten. So just be sure to weave in all of your ends and that's also the, the yarn that you use to cast on and then you will be done with that portion of the project. So now it's time for us to sew on the button. So what I did, because I was using Lime Brand Super Bulky, their yarn is intertwined, um, wrapped around twice. So I just unraveled one set so that I could use that particular yarn um, to sew my buttons. But if you don't have that option with your yarn, just see if you can thread it through the buttonholes, the diameter of the buttonholes. That's if that's possible, if not, just get some matching thread and just use a regular sewing needle to sew your buttons on. And in my case, I used two buttons, but you can use three or four. It just depends on the look that you want to go for. So now that I've got my uh, yarn threaded in, I'm just gonna simply um, start from the back of the work and I'm going to pull it through the first hole and then just go ahead and go through the second hole and I'm gonna do that twice and then I'm going to tie a knot in the back of the buttons just to secure it to the yarn. So now we're done with the first button. So just repeat the same steps for the second button or the third button if you choose to put one on your cowl. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I have enjoyed making it for you. Please like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks, bye bye.